Mike Farrar, and I'm a program officer in the Division of Undergraduate Education at the National Science Foundation. I currently work on the NOISE program, which is what I'll be talking about in the webinar, but I also work on the IUS program, the HSI program, and I'm a co-lead on the STEM program. I'm really looking forward to getting to meet some of you and hear about some of what you're thinking about and some of your questions, and hopefully to continue having conversations down the road as your proposals come together for NOISE or any of our programs. Thanks a lot. Hello, my name is Dr. Frederick Uy. I currently serve as a director in the Educator Preparation and Public School Programs here at the CSU Office of the Chancellor, where I oversee the system-wide operations of the Mathematics Science Teacher Initiative, more commonly known as MISTI. I also co-direct the Center for the Advancement of Instruction in Quantitative Reasoning. Prior to coming to the Office of the Chancellor, I was a professor at the Charter College of Education at Cal State LA, where I started in 1998 as a mathematics educator. I also served as the chair of the Division of Curriculum Instruction for four years. This presentation gives me an opportunity to illustrate and discuss the important role MISTI plays in the NSF NOISE program. MISTI's goals have always been targeting the increase of candidates in the STEM teaching workforce. And having this partnership really demonstrates the importance of attracting more diverse STEM teachers. As a leader in educator preparation, not only statewide, but also nationwide, the CSU shares and learns continuously from other institutions and agencies. Hi, I'm Dr. Kim Seashore, Assistant Professor of Mathematics and Math Education at San Francisco State University and the Associate Director of our Center for Science and Math Education. I've been at San Francisco State for seven years. I'm the PI of a five-year NSF Track 1 NOISE grant called STAGES, STEM Teaching Towards the Just and Equitable Society. I'm delighted to be part of this STEMnet webcast to share what we have been learning in STAGES and to learn more about the NOISE projects that my colleagues throughout the CSU have been leading. Stages scholars are undergraduate and credential STEM students who are within five semesters of completing their teaching credential in secondary math or science. Scholars receive substantial funding to allow them to focus more deeply on learning to work in schools and complete their own studies in both STEM and education. As part of Stages, they participate in a biweekly seminar and take on a leadership role in the Teacher Fellows Program, serving a large number of students interested in becoming STEM teachers. STAGES aims to develop scholars' vision of how STEM education can be transformative, particularly in low-income and marginalized communities, and how STEM education might need to be transformed in order to better meet the needs and challenges that these communities face. The STAGES program works in partnership with the Graduate College of Education, along with community partners Trellis Education, AIM High Summer Enrichment, June Jordan School for Equity, and Longfellow Middle School, to provide models of STEM education that aim to disrupt systemic inequality and challenge educational models that serve to replicate the status quo. I'm looking forward to sharing the successes we've had in the past three years, along with the challenges that we are encountering and what we are learning from them. I hope to see you all on April 8th for a lively conversation. Hello, my name is Tamadis Vokos and I'm a professor of physics at Cal Poly San Luis Obispo. I'm also a member of the Center for Engineering, Science and Math Education here at Cal Poly. I co-direct the STEM Teacher and Researcher Program, uh, otherwise known as the STAR Program, which is a CSU-wide uh, program that uh, places prospective STEM teachers in about uh, three dozen national labs and uh, university laboratories so that prospective STEM teachers can do authentic research, but they can also have an education wraparound workshop in which they are able to translate for themselves um, how that research is um, impactful and relevant for their future uh, STEM teaching. I look forward to 
learning from uh, my colleagues on uh, uh, April 8th. And uh, I also have uh, something to contribute around our research agenda and our uh, evaluation efforts uh, on a program that started in 2007 and uh, has placed uh, um, almost 600 future STEM students um, in these kinds of, um, of uh, placements. So I look forward to being with you. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Kathy Hound and my co-presenter is Michelle Kaur. We are both full professors at California State University, East Bay. I'm in the Department of Mathematics and Michelle is in Science Education in the Department of Teacher Education. This is my 31st year and Michelle's 12th year. We are very excited to be part of this webcast. We hope to connect with many of our CSU peers through this experience. Our presentation will discuss supporting excellent effectiveness and diversity in STEM education, which is a NOISE scholarship program. We will give highlights of our program and talk about the grant writing process for NOISE. We look forward to meeting you all and answering your questions about our program. Thank you. Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Ellis, professor at Cal State Fullerton in the Department of Secondary Education. Before coming to CSUF, I was a middle school and high school teacher of mathematics and earned my national board certification as a teacher of early adolescence mathematics in 1999. I've been a professor here since 2005 and during that time have served as department chair, been PI or co-PI on three NSF funded projects, and have renewed my national board certification twice by conducting lessons in local middle school math classrooms. I'm excited to be part of this webcast because I'll get to learn what colleagues throughout the CSU system are doing in STEM education in their noise projects. I also will get to share and brag a little about the work we're doing in our noise track three MTF project, advancing teachers of mathematics to advancing to advance learning for all or at MALA. This is a project I lead with Dr. Armando Martinez Cruz in the Department of Mathematics and Dr. Ro uh, Ruth Yop Edwards in the Department of Elementary and Bilingual Education. Our project involves 20 middle school and high school teachers of mathematics who are learning to put into practice culturally responsive mathematics teaching. Having completed four and a half years of the project, the teachers are now facilitating professional learning about culturally responsive mathematics teaching for other teachers via online one credit micro credential courses that they collaboratively developed over the past few years. I will share some of this work as well as the impact the project has had on how the teachers see themselves not only as instructional leaders, but as advocates for their students. Thank you.